Hey guys, I'm Steph. And I'm Richard. Amora Sparkle asks, do Korean men generally like more feminine type women? I feel like this is widely believed, but it's taboo to talk about. Ooh. Why is it taboo to talk about? I don't know why it's taboo to talk about. Maybe because people don't want to talk about how people want to perceive other people. We're talking about it, so are we breaking some sort of taboo rule? No. <laughs> before we get into this, before we get into my thoughts on this, what are your thoughts on this? I think if you were to ask the average man on the street, say 25 to 30 years old, what he likes in a Korean woman or what he likes in women in general, the vast majority of them here will say long hair. Yeah, actually, yes, because I've asked that before and long hair definitely goes up there. It's annoying because that's what they all will say. Even if they like a whole, like, array of things with women, they will say I like long hair. It'll be the first thing that comes out of their mouth. I actually ask this question a lot whenever I first started teaching university because we always had a chapter on appearances. And so we talk about appearances and relationships and one thing that I always brought up is what do you look for in somebody in the opposite sex? What was your answer? For girls, usually long hair was definitely up there. Good dresser, you know, had taste in clothes, was nice, pretty, pretty girl who had a great smile, long hair, and was nice. It's kind of disappointing, don't you think, that they don't say smart, or smart doesn't come up often. They don't say independent, that doesn't come up often. Yet that seems to be the way the West <laughs> is going. Like, Do you think that that would be one of the first things that would come out of guys' mouths in the US? It would be for me. I like pretty, but I also like really smart. Like, I think you're bright, and I really like that. Like, you see things differently than I do in a very intelligent way. I find that attractive. True, but I think generally across the world, Am I that you, unique though? No, I don't think you're that unique, but I do think that generally, if you ask a guy if they would prefer a girl who can wear a mini skirt and high heels or a girl who is conservatively dressed or dressed like a dude, which would they prefer? They'd probably prefer the girl who's wearing the mini skirt and heels. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about someone who's smart versus someone who's pretty. Do you think Korean men are all that different from men across the world? In some ways, yes, because they want their wife to stay at home once they get into their 30s. That's the general consensus here. Is it really? Yes, it is. You disagree. What do Korean men want differently than that from their wife once they get married in their 30s? I don't know. I don't know what Korean men want once they get in their 30s. I've only asked <laughs> Korean men. How can we men. answer the video? What do you put it? I've only asked Korean guys, men in their 20s. What do they say? They say they want pretty and long hair. What would they want other than feminine women? They would want, what's the opposite of feminine, butch? I don't know what the opposite of feminine is. Wouldn't you say almost all the women here are feminine except for the lesbians which have to fake it because they're not allowed to really be openly lesbian? I think that every woman is feminine in their own way. Okay, but I mean, all right, but we're talking about kind of textbook definition here, like women who dress girly are women that like to accentuate their femininity instead of just, I don't know, just dressing like in sweatpants and kind of normal, like not trying to show off. Wouldn't you say the majority of them are doing that here? Yeah, I'd say the majority of them are doing that there. And the men here, the majority of them like that or the majority of them date Korean women. And so- Who are very girly. Mostly, yes. So then, men here mostly want girly women. I guess you could make that assumption. I've actually known guys who like girls with more edge and are not so- Korean guys or just- Korean guys. Okay. Who like girls with a lot of edge. I've seen that also. Give I me think, an example. Uh, for example, I had a girl who was very edgy in one of my classes and she had her pick of guys. Okay, so you're saying the girl that's edgy, the guys like that. The guys do like that. Was she good looking? She was pretty. She was pretty and edgy. I think that this this starts to get into the whole category. Does appearance really matter and is appearance all that important? Well, those are two different questions. I know, but like- Does it matter? Yes. Is it that important? It, person by person can only answer that. <sighs> I just like this whole feminine thing makes me angry. I gotta be honest. Well, because I'm not. Very feminine. That's not true. I think you are. In you some think cases. I'm very feminine, but I don't think I'm very feminine. Well, sometimes you dress up and you are super sexy in a very female way, and I love it. I think generally Korean men, like men around the world, do appreciate girls who like to dress up and be feminine occasionally, at least. I think that there's less of a variety of types of women here, and because most of them are more feminine, because that's what's accepted, or that's what's 
advertised as how they should be. That's what they end up liking. And they don't know any better because, you know, it's just like anywhere around the world also. You know, you could take an American who doesn't really travel outside the United States. They don't really know what's going on in Africa. They don't really know what's going on, say, in South Korea. We still talk about people in America who want to ask about Korea and they start asking us about North Korea. True. They don't really know any better. And so bringing it back to this question, these men don't necessarily know any better other than to like what they see, which most of what they see is femininity. Well, and I think the other thing is in Korea in general, people tend to be a little bit more stylish. They tend to be a little bit more aware of how they take care of their hair, their, their face and how they dress and everything like that. So even guys could be considered to a certain extent feminine. And if a girl cuts her hair in Korea, it's considered masculine. Well, most women don't cut their hair until they get in their 30s or 40s and then they cut it shorter like what you have or like, you know, just the short with the perm. True, but like, you that's do... not accepted when you're young. They do it, but like very rarely. True, you do, they do it rarely, but you do have it, girls who do it. But yeah, that goes, goes back to the whole guys like girls with long hair here. Yeah, if you cut your hair as a young person, a female, you just don't expect to get most of the men here because most of the men want long hair. I like the guys who like the girls with short hair. We're not talking about you, we're talking about... <laughs> I know, but... I'm just saying, like, to me, like, I, I don't know. It's, it's like the whole... I think it's limiting for the men to say they only like women with long hair. I think that's obvious, but I really think they shouldn't be like that because then the women don't want to cut their hair because they want to get a man. Like, the whole thing is very more conservative than it is in most other places here. And so like, you don't see a lot of people going out on a limb. It has become very acceptable at this point to dye your hair. So as long as your hair is long, if you dye it, they don't care what color it is as long as it's long. It is, it's what they're raised with, it's what they're taught is acceptable and that's what generally people do. Hang you on, know? Maki. Okay. And so generally you have people who dress a certain way, look a certain way, and that's something that they've been raised with, that's something that they see. You know, even fashion tends to be very similar because a lot of shops carry the same stuff. Yeah, and cosmetics is so big and important here that everyone wants to wear those things too. Including and guys. Including guys, yeah, but I, I mean, you know, I was watching an interview with, I don't know, was EXO? No, 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 no. Um, so one of the groups and one of the guys in the group, one of the members speaks English perfectly, like, you know, like, lived and studied in, or whatever in America for a number of years and so he's the representative for the group the English speaker and he was just saying you know in Korea appearance is important for everybody so we like to look nice when we're out in public that's the way it is here yeah I mean he wasn't even able to say anything else other than that as for personality types you know different outgoing personalities if you're quiet and shy that I think is different with each particular person so that's it for today's life in Korea yeah if you have a question for us me, me. drop a note in the YouTube comments on our Facebook page facebook.com slash back in the comment section on our blog, hollybet.com, or at hollybet on Twitter. And we're doing daily vlogs. We've been doing them six days a week, Monday through Saturday, for almost two months now. Link in the top of the description box or annotation up on the screen. Check those out. There are lots of insight into Korea and uh, maybe what Korean men like and women too. And like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, you guys, for Asian drama and life in Korea videos. That's it for today's life in Korea. Experience, Experience it. it! I realized we didn't even talk about girls wanting guys. So like, what, what are the girls looking for? She didn't ask that.